Hi guys, this is Kes. Today I'm going to talk about, well, you could call it iPhone 6 or iPhone 5S. It's typical from Apple to do different versions of the primary phone. What I thought was, I'm really, really, really sad. The new iPhone 5 was clearly disappointing for me. I'm going to just talk about what disappointed me by using Apple webpage. With that, obviously, I'm going to introduce what I think it will be the next iPhone, whether it will be the 5S or the 6. Let's start the analysis. Apple says in their web page and conference as well, all new design. Create an entirely new design meant inventing entirely new technology. Do you agree with that? New design. Sorry, I'm disappointed with the new design from the iPhone 5 and I love design and I do understand that design is more than just hardware. Design can be obviously creating new technology. Obviously that's a, 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 a way of designing as well. But let's talk about hardware because that, that's the physical side of, of the design that I want to talk and that they sort of put it in a cloud I guess they like cloud so they put the design in a metaphor sort of we reinvented the, the stuff but they the stuff doesn't really look that like that much reinvented so let's talk about it so they are so similar the new iPhone and the 4s which is the one I'm having right now they are so similar that in terms of design, can I really be amazed by an increased size of the screen? Is that really all that I as a customer would expect from a company? And we reinvented this or we even okay bravo still is that a thing that you should like scream all over the place like it's a really huge stuff? Nokia has a really awesome charger and I don't see them screaming. What's up, Apple? The the amount of stuff they they claim it's theirs and all these security issues. It's really it's good that you have security policies and that you respect the organization process, but still I think it's getting too much. To be honest with you, I think sharing is growing and when you have two distinct technologies like when there's a company that creates technology or that uses technology and doesn't want to interact with the others they clearly want to be alone in their process so therefore do you believe in an alone technology where you invest your money to be with or do you believe in a shared technology where everyone is connected i think apple is crossing the line a little bit when it comes to patents so all new design they created a different sort of speaker's um, grid, I don't know what you call it, which I never heard the sound, but let's talk about hardware, okay? It doesn't really surprise me. It's still on the bottom, which really annoys me, and the diffusing pattern is the same. You don't see a different type of speaker, you just see a different sort of body that, that covers it. You know what I mean? It's Because they didn't talk about specification, so it doesn't really astonish me. Let's put it this way. They changed head jack for the um, headphones. They put it down, I agree, it's, it's easier that's not really a design difference it's just a location difference which is different because the jack is still the same when it comes to design well when you see the whole picture the design can be a little bit different because the the, the button is not up it's down but that's really pushing the envelope all new design the body of aluminium crossed with the glass one well it doesn't really grow on me it's just a sort of you know it's not really different from this one the difference is that I can buy a cover, to be honest with you, and look precisely the other one. It doesn't really uh, change the, the design of the cover. Because let's put it this way, what's design, right? Because this is totally flat and it has these edges that are really thick. In the other one, the edges are not so thick and they have a treatment that makes them mirrored. It's still totally plain and it has two cuts they are not design uh, cuts they are just cuts that's the way the aluminium is integrated in the glass so that's not really a design option that's an engineered option 
that requires design to be applied. They are and not really doing anything, you know, obvious at least. They say brilliant 4 inch retina display screen which is obviously bigger and okay that's an improvement. At the naked eye nowadays is not really something that you say oh that this is a really huge improvement. It can be, it depends on what you use your phones for. If you're just watching videos from YouTube and it's not really that much of a big deal but Anyway, that's that's how they promote stuff, which I really don't believe because it's really not that new. The improvements are just slightly different, not even different. Design-wise, I'm not really buying it. So they say as well, a brilliant 4-inch retina display, ultra-fast wireless. That's cool. That's great. Not in my country. But that's cool, you know, that's cool. Portugal, you know, wireless and 4G and so forth. We're fast in Lisbon, major hotspots, not in the rest of the country and not even close to Lisbon. So, and they have the powerful A6 chip, which is designed by them and increases the speed of work. So you see things working more naturally when it comes to speed. They respond faster and so forth. But what I would like to see and I didn't saw was something like a totally different design when it comes to improvement. I don't find the iPhone truly ergonomic at all. Well, let's put it this way. Let's think about something that has to be ergonomic in order for us to enjoy. For instance, remote controls. You don't see remote controls looking like like this. Well, some do, but most of them that are going to be used all day, all the time, they are not designed like this. This is not ergonomic design, this is not made for your hand. These are just approaches to what an unlikely object to be in your hand would be uh, comfortable to. So I would like to see a different change on the design of the iPhone. I do enjoy the home button. I don't really enjoy the, um, the volume buttons because I don't find them easy to use. I find that some covers that have cover to the buttons, they are more useful because they just need a little click in order to really touch the button. Apple, I have a HD monitor from Apple. I plug to my computer and it has just a touch button. Why don't they just put like touch buttons where you just have to touch like this, right? I, I don't like these physical buttons here. And the button that I really find terrible is this one, the mute button. I hate the mute button. This is the little guy. And I have the mute button always, always on because I don't really enjoy some notifications from applications and so forth. And there are so many that in order for me to control them all, I have to just turn the mute button. It doesn't really pleases me the, the way it's it's so it's so outside it's so machine like it doesn't flow the mute button doesn't go along with the rest of the phone well thumbs up for the hd camera they put here set 720p good i don't really find normal that at this point they would make a breakthrough phone with everything on the top notch and they don't didn't put a 1080p uh camera in front i just don't believe it it's just terrible and I'm sure in the next model they will put a camera and they will call it 5S and that's it. And you'll buy it just because it has a 1080p front camera. And they invented the nano SIM. Well, nano SIM, yeah, because we have the micro. That's okay, I don't really care that much about that. That's, that's really engineer stuff in order to make it smaller and to have space to do other things. I like the flattiness of the phone. I don't like the edge edges it's too rough it's too simple and too simple is good too simple can be uncomfortable and that's what this phone is this is an uncomfortable phone to be one hour you cannot be one hour using your hands in this phone it will start hurting that's the truth because in my case when i go like this and i go a lot of times or like this and I start typing like this with one hand because that's their goal with one hand suddenly I go like oh my god the, it's like the finger muscle it's it starts to it became becomes a little painful 
so I tend to quit and say well I cannot hold it anymore because it's really hurting me right so yeah it's an addictive phone I enjoy Apple I really enjoy the 4s I I love it as a phone I would like to see a more uh, fluid design I believe Samsung Galaxy S3 as a, it's not good but it's a more comfortable one I believe and that's it I want to see the next 5s or the next 6 with some really true true differences I want to buy the iPhone 5 I don't believe it's really um, that different from the 5 4s regret not having the front camera HD uh, on mine but I can still turn it around and film with 1080 tell me guys what do you think about Apple and Apple products and specifically the iPhone okay tell me what you guys think and about this Apple policies and they charge a lot for their product products and they're not compatible with anything this is just me talking about what I think it will be the next 5s or 6 why I don't like the iPhone 5 I truly truly I would prefer to I, I prefer to wait for the next one maybe with NFC introduction for instance which I didn't heard at all talking from anyone and Samsung Galaxy S3 has it and the new iPhone doesn't so well I'm sure they can create stuff to apply that but it doesn't make sense the iPhone 5 is the perfect representation of what Steve Jobs wouldn't do. The 5 w is looking like a 4SS, you know what I mean? The 5 looks still like the 4, like we learned before, they used to do an S before launching a different one and they didn't do this one. The 5 still uses the same body looking feeling as the 4 and they say it's a unibody and they spend a lot of money to create those sort of phones and they use a lot of resources like aluminium the change must be to the future and I don't see them using materials or green materials I don't see them putting on the phone a real effort you know what I mean it's like someone said at some point they didn't invent anything they just use the nice inventions others do and I don't agree with that but it goes to a point where it roughs that because they truly have so many technologies amazing technologies to explore and they still invest on the same concept idea and the idea of technology is to change always to better you see on stuff they change and usually there are dramatic changes and on the iPhone for a lot of years it's still this tell me what you think thumbs up this video spread with your friends make them talk with us with us with me and you let's talk talk about differences between gadgets and iPhones and technology so tell me what you think about technology leave it in the comments down below subscribe till then Bye.